Hi all, in this video we will discuss about the Hadoop 2 dot x architecture. We already know the 1 dot x architecture, then we, in this video we will discuss about what are the improvements made in the 2 dot x architecture. Okay? So this is the diagram of the Hadoop 2 dot x architecture. So here the important concept is YAN. YAN means yet another resource negotiator that means we are getting the resources from everywhere from the given node so that is the important so this is the implementation happen in the hadoop 2.x architecture so here you can see that in the uh, hadoop 1.0 architecture we have five component name node uh, name node job tracker task tracker secondary name node and the data node okay but here we can see that we replace the job tracker into resource manager. The resource manager means here the resource manager allocating the resources to the particular data node 1, data node 2 and data node 3. And there is one more thing task tracker right. So here we implemented node manager. Node manager we replace the first one with the node manager. The task tracker replaced with the node manager. The direct communication through node manager and resource manager. I will explain how it works in your node. For example, a client is asking uh, for example 1 GB RAM and 1 CPU for perform the particular data operation. So what it will do? It will be checking to the resource manager. Is it available or not? Now the resource manager text to the they, uh, name uh, node manager so to this particular data node is it available this uh, data node is available or not or is anything performing or not okay so that response if it is available it will be given acknowledgement acknowledgement to resource manager this node is available you can give me uh, the task I will do it okay the task will be created task 1 will be created here okay and the, if the task is completed it go back to the resource manager and the, uh, we can make the client we can request to client this is completed okay then there is one more chance if you want one more requirement 6 GB of RAM and then 6 CPU okay so that time what it will give you the already uh, this data now contains 3 GB 3 CPU so we, we will take the 3 GB 3 CPU from this node and the 3 GB 3 CPU from this node. There is one application master that is also important. This application master connects this task and this task too. Means this is one task but separate data node is performing this task. So this will be connecting to here and this we can connect it to the resource manager okay so the application master is the one of the intermediate space it will be taking the resources from this one and this one and completing and update the status to resource manager if it is completed or not but this kind of thing we cannot see in the hadoop one dot architecture and this application man, uh, is the master is the status is it completed successfully completed it will be uh, send the status completed or it is processing it will be send the processing or if it is failed it is failed and we need a virtual space so that is the concept of container to allocate it for this container and then this one because it will be it is a virtual space for allocating this stuff for example 3 gb and here also the 3 gb 3 CPU and 3 CPU, right? So, once the process is, this is connected to this application master. Once the task is completed, this portion, this container will be destroyed and the success message sent to the resource manager. So, that is because this is a container effect. So, container effect, uh, virtual space available in the Hadoop 2 dot R, not 2 dot architecture is the main difference. The container we introduce in the 3 dot X architecture. Okay. The container concept is available in the 3 dot X architecture. So this is the old idea about the Hadoop 2 
and three dot architecture we definitely we will discuss about what is the main difference is main difference is implementation of container yarn plus container in the three dot x architecture and two dot x architecture only the yarn concept okay uh, in i will i will explain what is the difference between two dot x architecture and the three dot x architecture then we will get more idea about this one so that i will write here So some of the differences I mentioned here. The first one is two dot x architecture, and the next one is three dot x architecture. The main difference is yarn. Yet another resource negotiator. Here is yarn. Here is yarn plus container. There is a virtual space, and we can communicate it. Once the task is completed, it is destroyed. Okay. So yarn plus container. Next one is compatible version is Java seven here. But here, two dot x architecture it is eight, Java eight, and then here the limited scalability up to thousand node. But here we can see that more scalable and we can accommodate more than thousand node. And then here also the Apache, the open source system, Apache open source, two x, two uh, x, and the open source. So this is the main difference. And the one more thing, load balancing case, the load balancing we can do. With the HDFS, we already mentioned the previous video. HDFS system, we can multiply, we can divide the system based on their extension and uh, execute it. Then it will be load balancing. That also we can do with here. And uh, one more thing is the uh, manual intervention. So we can recover the name node. Both their name node is there. Manual intervention is needed for the two dot x architecture, but the recovery of a uh, man uh, main node is not required in the three dot x architecture so this is all about the architecture wise and the different i think hope you are clear about this one thank you